everybody and welcome back to Erica's World of Colors. So today um, we're going to go through uh, my finished pages for January 2023 as well as my 10 books to finish for 10 2023 and yeah my goals I guess we'll go through some of my goals that I had for January and maybe some new ones that I have for February. So this is my journal. Um, that I had created for my 10 books to finish and my finished pages. I did a total of 33 pages and I think this is a record for me. Um, I don't know how many of them are color by number. They're probably mostly color by number. I think maybe I have a few mandalas. In February, <clears throat> my goal is to color in some non-color by number books. So I've purchased a few new ones and I have one from last year um, from um, uh, Camellia Angel Kova. So I'm really excited to get myself out of my comfort zone and into coloring some more things that are not color by number. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess I will explain to you guys um, my goals for January that I had for myself. Uh, basically, I had written down all of my um, 10 books to finish, like pa page one in this book, two pages in that book, one page in this book. Okay, so I pretty much got everything done. The only two that I didn't um was one page in one of my books I didn't do and then instead of two pages in cute dragons I only did one page in cute dragons so I didn't tick it off and I don't think I colored in a seasonal book but I did do at least one page in a non-color by number so my goal in February will be actually more in the non-colored non-color by number book so, um, I've never gone through any of my um, empties before. I don't know if this is something people are interested in, um, but I will go through them. So, these are my empties from forever, meaning that I've never gone through my empties and I've been saving them. This thing has lasts pretty long and I do color a lot but it seems that I go through blues a lot and oranges and then I have a yellow and a green so basically these blues are from three different sets okay one of them is a, an Ohuhu brush marker it's the brilliant blue color then two from the Beliza, Beliza. So it was like a pale blue, not like two pale blues. I guess because of the skies. When we color skies, it's and then sky blue. There you go. This is from a light light wish. It's like a cheap one that I bought on the Amazon. Light wish. So those are those. Then more Beliza. So we've got two oranges from Beliza and one yellow and one pale green. Looks like all the fluorescent ones, two fluorescent. They didn't last as long as I would hope. And then in my Ohuhu, another Ohuhu one was the, the brown, the raw umber. Brown is a popular one as well. Okay, so those are the finished empties. <clears throat> so let's go through my finished pages. I'm going to do the finished pages on my 10 books to finish, and then at the same time you will see um, what they are. So I will start off with a, um, what's it called? sticker by number which is not not really a color by number but I did buy it 
and I thought that it would be fun to finish this book as they are not as, you know, um, time consuming as the coloring books, but they're still fun to do and they still turn out really nice and there's not that many pages. So I figured that this would be one of my 10 books to finish. So I did two in here. So wait, hold on, let me just, I'll tell you how many pages I have left and how many I need to do in order to finish it by the end of the year. So this would be the, what's it called? Um, Stress-free sticker, sticker by number. So there is a total of 28 pages to do. And I had already completed eight and I did two this month, which leaves me, uh, which gives me a total of 10. Okay, and then in order to finish, I had written down how many I needed to do, but I think it's about, if it's 28, there's uh, 10 left, so 18. It's about one, one per month, I would say. But I did two, one to two per month. Okay, so I did this one. And this one, this one was a really easy one because it was just the same sticker all over and over and over again. But it's kind of cool. I like patterns. Easy on the eyes. Okay, so that's all that. Where should I put it? I'll put it in my chair. Next, we have Woman's World. So, what are my 10 books to finish? And I have... There's 20 to do in this book. I uh, had already done seven, no, six, and I did one this month. So let's see. It was this one. It turned out really nice. I love these books, Color by Colors. I had bought a few more of, uh, of the Color by uh, Colors by Kira Shershneva. And they turn out really nice. Okay, next on the list of 10 books to finish is Fairy Magic, Color by Number by Color Questopia. This is the white background. And as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I really like coloring in the lines with metallic gel pen. It makes it look really cool. So in this one, Fairy Magic, there's a total of 20 pages and I have completed um, seven. I had already done five and so this month, the January, I did two. So let's see, so this is one of the ones that I did. So see how pretty it is with the... Uh, with a gel pen. And you know, it it looks like it might take a long time to fill in the lines, but once you get going, it's pretty quick. And I use the Jelly Roll gel pens and uh, they work really, really well. So the finished product is always really nice to look at with your eyes. All right, then this is the next one. Yeah, they're just so pretty. So two from there. Next is the Color by Number Animal Stencils. This was one of the first, one of the first few books that I purchased when I first started my coloring hobby. And I love this book. So what do we got here? How many animal stencils? There's 30 pages in this one, and I had already done four, and so this month I did three. I have to take out these extra papers. <clears throat> so, let's see. I did this one. This one, 
and this one. So I really like this book. Um, I like that you don't use all of the colors in each and every picture. I feel like if you're always using the same colors, it kind of gets boring. I know some of the Sun Life drawing books, they all, they, they incorporate a lot of the same colors. Um, so I feel like it's kind of repetitive. So I like the different combinations, makes it more fun. So in this book, I need to finish two to three pages a month and we'll see, we'll see if I get there. These can take a while if they're not on the white on the sorry on the if they're on the black background it's faster than if they're on the white background because the white one you have to like take your time and do it more without do it more carefully with so that you don't go over the lines next book we have the tender mandalas this is a color by color by akira and this one is uh where is it Tender Mandala, there's 20 in here. I've already completed six. And um, with this month, it's a total of seven, but I just did one this month. And I think I need to do one or two per month in order to finish. So this is the one that I did. Kind of like Christmassy colors. All right. Next we have Sun and Moon Mandala coloring book. Now for in Camellia Angel Kova, uh, this is my only mandala book. So I figured before I buy another one, which I'm dying to, because <laughs> she's just so talented, and I just want to buy everything. But Camellia, um, yeah, so she's she's really good, and I really like her style. So in this book, what do we got here? Um, so hopefully I can finish this book before buying another one. Um, so we've done this one. So in this book, I looked up color palettes. So this is my non-color by number book. So. I looked up some palettes on uh, the internet and came came uh, to find these ones and came up with this and this is what it looks like. So this one is five colors with alcohol marker and I think ge some gel pen and I think this one turned out really nice. It's like a random color generator that I used. So it gets me out of my comfort zone and it also helps me to use up different colors. Yeah. So I did three. Oh, from from uh, last year. Right. So this book, there's 35 pages. So I've had already completed that one from last year and with these three, I'm at four. So I need to do at least three per month in order to make it um, at the end of the year. So we'll see how this goes, this 10 books to finish. Cause I feel like my 10 books to finish that's what I consume myself with during the month but there's so many other books that I want to color in and I bought some new books so I don't know if I feel like to finish these um, because I get bored really easily and I like to color in like so many different things and I just want to buy everything I don't know if you guys feel the same way but I just love coloring in the new books <laughs> and then I get bored, but I like to come back to them. So we'll see. We'll see if uh, we can continue coloring in this one. Okay, next oops, 
is the Circulism Art Books, Color by Number, Birds of the World by Eclipse A.J. Quinnell. So this is, I think, the only book that I have so far of, of this um, artist, and I really, really like it. I absolutely love birds. I have four birds, four parrots, and um, so I, I really like to color birds as well. So in this book, Birds of the World, so I've already had done two, and then I did another two this month, so we're at a total of four, and there's 25, so I think that one or two per month should get me to the end. So I did this one, these are the Goldie and Finch, pretty, and this one is the Quetzal, Quetzal. Next, we have Cute Dragons, Color by Number, by Prachi the One Such Deva. So, Cute Dragons is, has a total of 25 pages, and I've already had, I already had done three, and I did one this month. I was supposed to do two, but I think I have a whip. Yeah, see, I started it, but I didn't finish it, so maybe I'll finish it this month. But this is the page that I did. I love this book. I think it's super cute. Um, I love dragons and dinosaurs, so I love coloring those. And uh, they come out really cute. I love Prachi's books. Um, I know she just had a baby, so I'm sure she's really busy with that. But I'm excited for her to come out with some new books. So yeah, that's this one. Next, we have Stone Mosaic by uh, the Belba family. This is my first book that I purchased um, in this series. I decided to go with book one, and then we'll see how it goes. So in this one, I... Stone Mosaic, where is it in the list? There are a total of 25, and I have had already completed three the previous month and I did one this month. So let's see, this is the one I did. Super cute book. I really enjoy coloring in this one. It's very relaxing. And uh, I could see how the black background would be even better because even though the, the lines are a bit thick, sometimes you have to like really do it slowly so you're not going over the line, but it turns out really pretty. I like, I really like it. All right, now my last book, from my 10 books to finish is The Witch Fantasy by Color Questopia. It's the same concept as the fairy magic, so you have to color in the lines. Now, I was supposed to color it in color in this book this month, uh, last month, January, but I did not get a chance. So, this was the October one. They're really cool. I really like these books. Um I didn't get a chance to color it in, so hopefully I'll get a chance this month. We'll see because I have a whole bunch of um, ha um, Valentine's Day books that I've purchased, new ones uh, this year and some from last year, and I really am excited to color it in those. Okay, so let's continue. So those were the 10 books to finish. Um, this is Color Questopia, by the way. Okay, now we're going to start with the other books um, that I colored in, in January. So, here we have um, Mosaic Art Vintage Cars by Sachin. And I did several pages in February already, but I have one from January, which is this one. So it looks like a little Vespa scooter so so cute i love this book this is my first i have a few other ones but i just per recently purchased them the mosaic arts and i absolutely love them they're so addictive i just want to find out what the picture is like all the time so i'm always coloring in them yeah it turned out really cute put that there the next one that i have actually let me do this one 
is also from Sachin. Okay, it is the same book, uh, Mosaic Art, but in the exotic birds, because I love my birds. All right, are these all January? Yeah. Okay, so I did a few styles in here. Okay, so the first one that I did, I colored in all the squares. I used Ohuhu brush markers, but the water-based ones, and they, <clears throat> they work out really well, but it just takes a while to color. It's not like a fast coloring because I have to color in each square in order to saturate the paper so that there's no streaking. I can't just color like the section, otherwise it's too streaky. So, but it turned out really nice. It just took a really long time. So then I was like, okay, what about the X method? Let me pick these out. So then I started with the X method and then I got obsessed because I was like, wow, this, this doesn't take long at all and I could do these super fast. The golden pheasant. Hey, sweetie, I'm, I'm, I'm recording a video. Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> my son just walked in. He's like, no, I don't want to be in your video. Um, golden pheasant. On camera, it looks really cool, but I enjoy the X method. I prefer the look of, of the, when you fill it in, but the X method, oh my God, it's so fast. And then you get to find out the picture right away, which is really great. Okay, so we've got this one. And I did this one. This is the hoopo. And I looked these up online. This bird actually looks like this. It's super cute. And we got this one. This is the blue jay. Then I did this one, Peacock. Then I did this one. This is the Toucan. This one's my favorite. I love the way that it turned out. It would have been really nice if it was filled in. And I did this one. This is a parrot. I think it's an eclectus. And the last one that I did was this one, which is the falcon. So I went crazy in this book. Loved it. So then the next book is in the same, <laughs> the same series, the Mosaic Art Patterns. And this one I did with alcohol markers, which takes, it's faster with alcohol markers than it is with the water-based markers. And so I filled it in and I love the way it turned out. So cool. Yeah, I love patterns. Patterns are super fun. Okay, and then, yeah, the vintage cars one, I also did with alcohol markers. I feel like that was the easiest, the fastest way if you wanna fill it in. It still takes a while, but yeah. Hi, sweetie. My son just walked in. Do you wanna be part of the video? No? <laughs> the next book we have is Kawaii Pets um, by Alice Mills Publishing. I did two in here. These are super cute and they're fun. They're pretty fast too, depending. This is the regular one. The, uh, I think it's the, the mosaic. Yeah, it's not the X method. So we've got this little monkey around. And then 
snacking mouse. Super cute. Who doesn't love cheese? I know my kids are like little mice and they love cheese. Hold on, I'm just gonna close the door. Next we have Color Questopia's one of their newest books, and it's the patterns, which I'm really into patterns. I didn't realize that I liked patterns until I started coloring patterns, and then I was like, yeah, I love patterns. So I did two in here, this one. Another thing that I started doing that I wasn't doing before is coloring in the middle of the book, not the first page, which was always like, I was obsessed with just doing it one by one. But then I realized that a lot of people do that. And so when you go on, on YouTube and you're looking at videos, a lot of people have like the first page done and like it's similar. So I was like, you know what? I am going to just randomly pick a page or like look through it and see which one I like the best and then color that one. So this is another challenge that I've been giving myself for the, the, the new year is to color in randomly random pages in the book, which is new for me. <laughs> My OCD is like, no, what are you doing? This one turned out really cool. It was like only a few colors like five colors even though it only looks like two colors black brown dark brown orange red and orange mm -hmm. turned out really cool I like it all right next was the mosaic art i think i'm obsessed with mosaic art guys this one is uh, by Sachi and Sachi Teva, and it's the seven millimeter squares. And this book, I did the first page. <laughs> I did the first page. But I think I'm going to do the random. I'm just going to like pick a random page and color it in. But these are really fun. I use alcohol markers. It goes fast. You do it like each row so that you're not streaking. And, um, and they're super fun and easy. All right, now I saved the best for last. So I only have two Disney books and I colored in both of them. And I'm getting more, I ordered more Disney books. So because I'm really loving uh, these books, I colored them in with, uh, what's it called, paint pens acrylic paint pens. So this is Les Grands Classiques, Tomb 2, Coloriage Mystère. Um, this is what I did. It's so nice. I love the way that it turned out. Yeah, so I'm really excited to color in more and uh, use my paint pen. So I got like a whole bunch. I'm going to do another video on, on my haul, but I like went crazy on the paint pens and I got like every single color and every shade so, so that I'd be able to like match up the colors here. And uh, yeah, I love it. Okay, now I'll save the bestest, the bestest for last. This is Love Stories, the newest book by Hachette. Um, the artist is Alexandre Karam. I follow him on Instagram, so I'm aware of any new books that he comes out with, which I will probably buy instantly. Um, this book is amazing. It's just really time consuming because it is so detailed and you can see the, the amount of colors that there are. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to do this. But here it is, the masterpiece. Isn't it awesome? I mean, I look at it and I'm like, I can't believe I did that. It was actually really difficult. Now I'm gonna like zoom in for you. There's so much like little details. Um, like, look at this. I'm like surprised myself. 
it was difficult with the paint pens. But I find that it just, compared to water-based, it is so nice. And it's faster than if I was using pencil crayons. Colored pencils, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, look at the amount of colors I had to use. Crazy. So that's it. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please um, subscribe if you haven't already. I will be coming out with some new videos. And make a comment. And tell me which coloring book is your favorite. And which page you like the best. And... Um, We'll see you in the next video. Bye.